Hello everyone, welcome to Maths IAC. Here's another exam style question on mechanics, A level physics. Please pause the video and give this a try. When you want to check the answer, press play. Three masses are connected together by light, inextensible strings over two smooth pulleys. Okay, the system is in equilibrium, it's really important here. Find the angle marked as alpha, so this angle here. And you need to calculate the mass m. Now let's first mark all the forces. So we know the weight of this 8 kilogram object is 8 times 9.81 newtons, which is 78.48 bar. We know because the system is in equilibrium, the upward and downward forces should be the same. So obviously this one here is 78.48 newtons. The weight of this object is mg. The tension of this string here is also the same. The weight of this object here is 5 times 9.81 which is the same as the tension here, 49.05 newtons. Now, we also know that these are smooth pulleys, so the tension here is the same as the tension here, so that will be 49.05 newtons. The tension here and tension here are the same, that will be 78.48 newtons. Now for the next part, I'm just going to extend this line here. So this meets obviously here at 90 degrees. That is 60 degrees. So obviously this angle here is 30 degrees. And I'm going to call the angle next to it here as theta for now. Now to do this question, we are going to think about the equilibrium of this point here, this one here. So this is 78.48 sine 30. So this component here, I can mark as 78.48 sine 30. Now this component to the right here must be 49.05 sine theta. Now, this object is in equilibrium. So, the force acting to the left, 78.48 sine 30 and 49.05 sine theta must be the same. So, let's write this. Now I can easily divide both sides by 49.05. So I can easily work out the value of theta by taking the inverse sine of this part here. So my answer here for theta is 53.13 degrees. Now the question is not theta, the question is alpha. Well, that's pretty easy because we know this is 90 degrees. If you consider this triangle here, obviously 90 minus theta should give you alpha. So alpha would be 36.87. That is the answer for the first part. Let's look at the second part. Calculate the mass M. Now, we are going to consider the vertical equilibrium of the same point. Now, for the convenience, I'm just getting rid of these things just to make it clearer. So, let's see what we need. Now, considering the same point, let's mark the vertical forces. So, this component here is 78.48 cos 30. Add 49.05 cos theta. 49.05 cos, now I know theta is 53.13. Is 
is equal to the weight because that's only downward force that is m times 9.81 now i can easily work out my value of m so the answer for m is 9.92 dot 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 so let's call it 9.9 .9 kilograms that's the final answer